Hi everyone. Today, I will show you the subdivision and stability for self-elevating unit. Stability. All units are to meet stability requirements set forth herein for all applicable conditions. 1. Intact stability all units. All units are to have sufficient stability riding stability to withstand the healing moment equivalent to the one produced by a wind from any horizontal direction and speed as given below in accordance with the stability criteria. The wind speed for unrestricted offshore service for normal drilling and transit conditions is not to be less than 36 meters slash seconds 70 knots. In addition the unit is to be capable of withstanding a severe storm condition applying the wind speed of not less than 51.5 meters slash s 100 knots. Units not designed to withstand the above healing moments will be considered for classification for restricted service in association with a healing moment equivalent to a minimum wind speed of 25.8 meters slash s 50 knots. 2. Damage Stability All Units all units are to have sufficient buoyancy and stability to withstand the healing moment equivalent to a 25.8 meters slash s 50 knots wind superimposed from any direction with the following causes of flooding, which are to be individually applied to the unit. For calculation purposes. Flooded compartments are to be assumed to be free flooding to the damage water line i.e as if they are in direct communication with the sea. For the purpose of damage stability calculations the following minimum permeability values are recommended. Storerooms, 0.95 machinery spaces, 0.85 accommodation spaces, 0.95 tanks and voids, 0.95 other values may be used if adequately supported by calculations. 3. Stability Criteria For self-elevating units and surface type units, the riding energy area under the riding moment curve at or before the angle of the second intercept of the riding and the healing moment curves for the down flooding angle whichever is less, is to reach a value of not less than 40%. In excess of the area under the healing moment curve to the same limiting angle. For column stabilized units, the riding energy area under the riding moment curve at or before the angle of the second intercept of the riding and the healing moment curves or the down flooding angle whichever is less, is to reach a value of not less than 30% in excess of the area under the healing moment curve to the same limiting angle. For all units, the riding moment curve is to be positive over the entire range of angles from upright to the second intercept angle. Documentation demonstrating that the chosen axis of inclination is the most critical for the unit is to be submitted. For Damage Stability Criteria The final water line, after assuming damage with an A healing moment equivalent to a 25.8 meters slash S 50 knots wine superimposed from any direction is not to exceed the levels to which watertight integrity has been shown on the diagrams submitted. 5. Residual Stability Criteria Self-elevating units Self-elevating units are to have sufficient residual stability to satisfy the following criterion after at summing the single compartment flooding specified, and with the assumption of no wind. Roscommon equals 7 degrees plus 1.5 to US Roscommon is not to be less than 10 degrees.
where rough common equals minimum range of stability in degrees equals qm qs qm equals maximum angle of positive stability in degrees qs equals static angle of inclination after damage in degrees the range of stability is determined without reference to the angle of down flooding six extent of damage for damage stability studies for self elevating units the following extent of damage is to be assumed to occur between effective water tight bulkheads i horizontal depth of penetration 1.5 meter 5 feet i i vertical extent of damage from the bottom shell upwards without limit where the bottom mat is fitted Assumed damage penetration simultaneous to both the mat and the upper hull need only be considered when the lightest draft allows any part of the mat to fall within 1.5 meters 5 feet vertically of the water line, and the difference in horizontal dimension of the upper hull and mat is less than 1.5 meters 5 feet in the area under consideration.